Good afternoon and welcome to our Monticello live stream. Um, my name is Melanie Holland and I am joined today by Nia Mosby and Alex Egger who are here with Made By Us. And today we're going to be talking about civic season. And I do need to say up front to our audience, um, <laughs> we had, I know, yes, exactly. <laughs> season. Um, we've had some internet issues here at Monticello. So I'm actually um, outside in a very lovely setting, but I hope my internet holds up, but, but stay with me. Um, and um, that's why we're in a little bit of a different setting today, but excited to be here. And I'm gonna let Nia and Alex introduce themselves. Thanks. Thanks, Melanie. Hi, my name is Nia Mosby. I am the program manager from Made by Us. So my job specifically is to plan and coordinate for civic season, which we'll learn all about in a sec, as well as I do some um, partner engagement with our partners that are around the country, including Monticello. So awesome. I'm excited to be here. Awesome. And hi, everyone. My name is Alex Edgar, and I am an incoming third year at UC Berkeley studying political science and public policy. Um, and I am a civic season fellow. I'm super excited for this year's civic season uh, for, and for you all to join us. Great. Well, thank you. And again, thank you for being here, Nia and Alex. I'm excited to have a chance to talk. This is actually our third civic season live stream, I believe. We definitely did one last year. It's the third annual civic season. So with that, let's just jump in. And can you tell us, um, Nia and Alex, what is civic season? Yeah, so happy to answer that question. So as you said, civic season is, is in its third year. And um, the idea came about of really wanting to create a time. This is set between Juneteenth, which is America's newest federal holiday, and July 4th, America's oldest. And in between that time, organizations around the country having the opportunity to submit programs, resources, host in-person um, events to really help people become more engaged in their community, both civically, both connecting more with history and really um, seeing how many different stories fit into the fuller American narrative. So um, we are excited because anyone can join and participate in civic season. Um, like I said, we have museums who participate. We have um, civic organizations. We have municipalities. We have local towns. So everyone is all in on civic season. And it's really exciting. Great. Yeah. yeah I think, like, what... Go ahead, Alex. Go. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was just say what I would add to it is that um, I think when he is talking about it being like really for everyone uh, is the point, right? Like July 4th, um, you know, was supposed to be for everyone, but we know, you know, as you know, time has gone on that it, it wasn't that, you know, our country wasn't for everyone in its founding. And that's why, you know, this time between Juneteenth and July 4th is so important because it's connecting, you know, the people who originally had access to everything this country had to offer um, and connecting it with everyone who has since been given access and has fought for the right um, to exist in our country. And I think that's like the really cool part about it is connecting just everyone, um, you know, whether they're an American citizen or not, uh, who lives in this country to really, you know, think and reflect, um, but also celebrate everything that we have here. Yeah, I think that's great, Alex. And that brings up a lot of what we, we talk about here at Monticello. You know, Thomas Jefferson was the author of the American Declaration of Independence. And um, July 4th is a very big celebration here at Monticello. But when those words were written, um, all men are created equal, all men and people were not equal in the United States. And so that's something that, that we talk about a lot here about how, um, you know, that, that paradox has played out throughout time and how we're working towards the shared uh, values of equality and freedom for everyone. So I, I really like you mentioning that. Thank you. Um, and, and yeah, here at Monticello, we've been involved um, since the beginning with Made by Us and, and partnering on Civic Season. And so, Nia, can you maybe talk a little bit, or Alex, too, about what activities you have coming up or, or how we're going to celebrate the Civic yeah. Season? So we do a huge national campaign, uh, like I said, that starts on this year, June 17th. And so everyone can head to our website, thecivicseason.com. And the first thing you'll see when you head to our site is our superpower quiz. So we want everyone to figure out what their civic superpower is. So are you a defender? Do you amplify? Are you a nurturer? Are you a connector in your community? So once you find out what your civic 
specific superpower is, then you're able to see all these lists of options of, like I said, programs and events and resources that really speak to that superpower. And whether you're uh, wanting to look for something that's local in town, you're more than likely to be able to find it, but also options that you can do anywhere from the comfort of your home or with friends. Um, and then also this year, we have a couple of new things that we're including for civic season where you can make your own list, basically your bucket list of everything you want to do for civic season. So you're able to see all the different programs that you're wanting to do. You can pick them, make your list, and then you can share it out to your friends. Everyone can see how you're involved with civic season this year. And then new this year, we also have our civic season guidebook. So once again, a based off of and kind of guided by our civic superpowers, people can really gain like fun, engaging tools that they can use to really help amplify all the different superpowers that they have. So um, whether it's creating your own playlist um, for when you want to fight for your rights or when you're writing to your representative or if it's just um, learning some fun history trivia as you visit all of these local organizations during the season, there's something for everyone in it. Um, so those are one of the many ways that you can get involved. I'm sure Alex has a couple too. <laughs> yeah, and I definitely think just like engaging with stuff that is new um, and unfamiliar to you. I think there are tons of civic season partners that are probably in your hometown or in the area around your hometown that you might, you know, not have visited that museum or historical site, um, or maybe, you know, uh, going to this speaker event isn't your usual cup of tea. Uh, but I'd really, you know, invite everyone to explore and to engage with as much content as possible, because um, it's great opportunities to not just, you know, learn more about, you know, the history of your area or whatever topic, um, you know, the Museum of Historical Sites focused on, but also to connect with people um, who are, you know, similarly interested in learning um, and being lifelong learners. Uh, so I definitely would recommend um, check out the website, check out the Instagram, go crazy and explore. So, so I have to ask, what are y'all civic superpowers? Mine is <laughs> Nectar. <laughs> so, which makes sense. I'm a program manager and trying to connect all the pieces to make civic season happen. So, <laughs> Alex, what about you? I <laughs> am you on also, the <laughs> also a connector. Um, that very much is my vibe as well. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, I have to take it. I have to admit that I have not figured out my civic superpower, but I will be doing it after we talk because I think that's just a really fun, a fun idea, you know, a way to, to figure out what your skills are and what your talents are and how you can, you can use, use your talents yeah, and throughout it's really, a civic season. Yeah. It's really cool too. Cause once you find out what your civic superpower is, you'll get a full list of like all the other kind of connectors and nurturers in history who fall underneath your superpowers. So um, I think for like connector, it's, um, oh gosh, it's Yuri uh, Kuchiyama. Um, like if it's your nurturer, it's Fred Rogers. So it's some really fun kind of uh, from history that you can really learn about more. Yeah, exactly. And um, can you talk a little bit more about the launch event? You mentioned that, but maybe talk a little bit more about that, Nia. Yeah, so on um, the June 17th weekend, which is right around the corner, mm. um, organizations around the country are kicking off civic season um, through a couple of different ways. So either they are hosting brand new civic season kickoff events, whether that is a picnic or a festival or a talk. Um, a lot of people, a lot of organizations are amplifying their Juneteenth events that they're doing that weekend. And then other organizations are hosting what we're doing new this year called a slice of history. So mm -hmm. this will allow people to come to um, a museum or a civic site and learn something or historic site, learn something new about history that maybe they didn't know before. And we're also partnering with Pizza to the Polls, which is a really cool nonprofit that provides Pizza to the Polling sites. Um, and they'll be providing free pizza um, to these slice of history sites. So it's a great, if you go to the website, if you look under um, your stories, you'll see the full list of all the kickoff events. You'll see if there's one happening in your neighborhood and they're all really fun and cool this year, um, excited. I think uh, there's over 30 um, plus kickoff events happening around the country. So there's something for everybody, probably. That's awesome. Can you just tell us maybe just a few of the partner partners that are, are involved with Made By Us? Yeah, so um, quite a long list, which is wonderful. <laughs> so Smithsonian, um, we have the Atlanta History Center. 
Um, we have the Wyoming State Museum. We have the New York Historical Society. Um, who else? Who else? Um, it's, it's like so many. Um, Chicago. That's a lot. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we have over 150 partners within the Made by Us network, but we have over 400 organizations that participate in Civic Season. So wow. that means there's over a thousand plus events or resources or programs on the website that you're able to look through. So that's so why we try to make it a little bit easier by connecting you through your superpower because there's a lot that you're able to do. Yeah. Totally. Well, that's really awesome. Um, yeah, definitely recommend checking that out and seeing what you have going on. I know here at Monticello, um, we are going to be hosting another Feast of Reason dinner um, on June 29th. And that's something that um, we did the first, the first one last year, the first public Feast of Reason dinner. And so that's really cool. I recommend you check that out on our website. And it basically, it's a way to, it's almost like using, using cards, using a game to get people to talk about um, different topics of importance in their lives and in our country using food and food ways is kind of the path. You know, we all, we all need to eat. We, we all like to have fellowship over meals and um, the cards in the Feast of Reason deck ask us questions that kind of get to not just like what's important to us personally and us in our community, but what's important to us as a collective nation. So it's a really cool it's a really cool game. It's a really fun event. We're going to have some food trucks here at Monticello and then taste some of the, our, our beer and cider. So um, that's something we're really excited to bring as, as part of our participation in civic season. That's awesome. Yeah, it's I love the card game. It's our salute. It's featured as part of our guidebook as well. So if people want to kind of yeah. in to learn a little bit more about it, that's in the guidebook as well. So yeah, I think it's um, I think it's fantastic. We we actually done kind of a subset feast of reason with teachers that participate on site in our Monticello Teacher Institute, and it's always been so much fun. You really get um, such good discussions that come out of it, and really a, a way to engage civilly on topic topics that are sometimes you know controversial or sometimes have a lot of feelings attached to them. So, um, really a great way to bring people together. Um, well, Alex, I want to give you a chance to talk a little bit, maybe about some of the things that you're doing as a fellow, and um, and just tell us what you're up to. Yeah, definitely. Um, so as a fellow, we've had the opportunity to engage with a lot of the programming and content um, that, you know, makes civic season, civic season. So um, from being able to uh, create pages for the, the guidebook um, and some super cool, I know I worked on, we put together like a little, like a lot of it's like 2000s, like Y2K themed. Um, mm -hmm. So we have like a little like <laughs> phone that had uh, like different stuff related to like civic season, civic superpowers, um, that like seeing it go from our little design that we created on Google Docs to being printed and being sent, you know, across the country is so cool. Um, and also just being able to, you know, engage with partners like Monticello um, mm -hmm. and advise, you know, the creation of events for a civic season um, and provide, you know, in, uh, kind of our, you know, experiences um, and, you know, be able to impact actual events that are, you know, taking place across the country. So it's been a really incredible experience. Um, and definitely, like, as I mentioned, I hope people, you know, come and join and get to, you know, just learn from this wide uh, array of events and resources, uh, both virtual and in person, um, that really allow you to, to do a deep dive into every aspect of what makes uh, this country. So what has been your, your most favorite thing? I'm putting you on the spot again. What has been one of your most favorite things that you've worked on? Okay, I have to say my favorite thing was getting to work with the rest of my fellows. I know, very like easy cop out answer, but I mean it um, <laughs> because there's nine of us. Um, and it's been so cool, just the wide array from across the country, me from California, all the way up to New York City. We have Wyoming, we have, you know, sat like all over the country, such a wide array of experiences, both, you know, people still in college to, you know, early professionals in and, you know, museums and other um, industries. So it's just been really incredible getting to learn from one another. And, uh, you know, I'll provide a piece of feedback or someone else will. And then the other person will build, build off of that. And we'll all be learning from one another. Um, and it's just really great to have um, a group of peers that you, um, you know, really, really get to learn from. That's great. And, and how, Nia, how could 
someone become involved in Made by Us. Do you want to talk a little bit more about that? Yeah, yeah. So um, easy if you are wanting to just be a part of Civic Season in general in regards to just submitting program or resource that's still open and you're still able to do that. If you just head over to the civicseason.com website and go to host, you'll see all the ways you can plug in, um, whether it's submitting a program or if you want to just amplify Civic Season, we have an awesome toolkit that you can use to post things on social. We have press releases. So those are really quick ways if you want to do Civic Season to plug in there. We also, um, for organizations, provide ways for you to be, join our um, actual coalition. So that's something you're interested to do as an organization that's history of civic space. You're able to do that as well. If you're an individual who just wants to get all in on Civic Season, see everything that you can do, if you head over to the site and you'll see your stories, it gives you pretty much like from A to Z, all the ways you can plug in, whether it's with a guidebook, we have an online zine, all the sites, you're able to see all of that in one place for you to kind of jump right in and get started. So a lot of different ways to plug in, which is what's really cool, both about Civic Season and Mad by Yes, is kind of just you get in where you fit in and there's pretty much something for everyone. That's awesome. I love zines. I'm, I'm a Gen Xer, so I'm like the original <laughs> generation of zines. That's awesome. That's so yeah, fun. it's making <laughs> such a comeback, which is so awesome. Yeah, that's one of the pages. And the guidebook as well as you create your own zine page and then you will feature it on the padlet. So you'll we'll have this full zine of from people from across the country contributing to it. Oh, that's fantastic. I love that. Um, all of this is great. And I know uh, we're, we're going to wrap up our time pretty soon, but um, maybe you, could you all talk about why this is important? Just kind of a bigger why? Why civic season? Why is it important to us as, as a nation, as a people? So this is one of the things that we're really looking to build towards America to America's 250th, which is coming in 2026. And a lot of people may not even realize that that is coming. Um, mm -hmm. So we want to use this basically as a boat, as an engine to help people really feel engaged and um, kind of wants this really momentous and milestone occasion for the country happens that we all feel like we're ready to plug in together. So we're really kind of mm -hmm. building the engine and getting the ship towards that point. And so we want to be all in together. And this is something that will continue to grow year after year um, to help us really get to that point as a country and both um, be able to celebrate and learn from that time together. Yeah. And I would just add on that like, I, I think we all know, um, especially, you know, as young people that like, there is a lot of division, there is um, a lot that, you know, separates us. Um, and that only really through learning from how we got to where we are today, can you truly work to build that better future? And I think that connects, you know, again to the, you know, 250, because um, as we're approaching this, you know, big recognition of our country um, and its existence, you know, we have to be willing to have those tough conversations and mm -hmm. engage with aspects of our history that that you know may not um, be the most comfortable and have by having those uncomfortable conversations and really learning from one another you know that's how we'll really be able to grow um and i think you know, it builds community on a local level but also builds you know the broader like great community as you know mlk would also often talk about awesome yeah i think that's really a, a good thing to to keep in mind and Fantastic. So I think you, you've, you talked about how people can get engaged and where they can go to find out more. So any, any final thoughts you want to give us, Nia or Alex, about Civic Season or about how people can be involved? Um, I just hope that everyone participates, um, finds their niche within it. Um, it's truly such a cool project and campaign. I'm saying it because I work with, I truly <laughs> that. Um, Also, if you just want to kind of see everything we're up to and kind of what we're all about, please feel free to follow us on social, specifically on Instagram at History Made By Us. We have an awesome social feed. You get kind of daily points of history, but making it relevant to our lives today, which is what's so cool about it. So I definitely want to say, check that out if you haven't already. I'm just going to say plus one to everything, everything that she just said. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Well, um, Again, thank you so much, Nia and Alex, for uh, joining me today on this live stream. I think y'all are doing some great work. I'm really excited. I'm really excited to take the quiz and see what my civic superpower is. So <laughs> I'll let you know. <laughs> I'll to figure that out. <laughs> um, anyway, thanks again. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much thanks. for having us. Sure. Bye, everyone. Have a good one. Bye.